Hey guys, Ardani here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my September wrap up and my October to be read. I forgot the month there for a second. Um, just a little note. Uh, first of all, is that my work schedule got changed again. See, I told you that this would happen, that as soon as I actually changed my uploading schedule to Tuesday and Thursday that I would start working on one of those days, and yes. Okay, so this week's video is actually going to be on Friday, even though I am working on Friday still, except there's no school Friday, so I'll actually have time to make a video. Okay, right over. So that's gonna happen. Uh, for the month of September, I managed to read three books, practically four, it's just I'm not quite done this last one yet, but whatever. Not as good as my August, but school just started and I think three books is still very, very well, very well, very good for what, um, what has been going on lately. So anyways, the first book that I managed to read in the month of September was The Lost World by Michael Crichton, and this is the second book uh, of Jurassic Park. It was very good. I very much loved it. Um, a review on this one will not come next week. It'll come the week after that. Is will will we'll be this book review. Uh, I very much liked it. Once again, the entire Jurassic Park. If you haven't, if you've seen the movies and you're like, yeah, I love the movies, read the books. If you haven't seen the movies, read the books. If you haven't seen the movies, go see the movies rant over. So that, that was the first book that I read in the month of September. The second book that I read in the month of September, I actually very much enjoyed. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. I was a little bit reluctant reluctant uh, to read it because I've had it for so long and I've just been like pushing it aside and like, you know, when you first get a book, you're like, yeah, I want to read it. And you just don't read it and you don't read it and don't read it. And then eventually you're like, I don't even want to read it. Like, uh, it's not what I'm in the mood for right now. Uh, that was The Here and Now by Anne Brashares. Um, I really, really liked this book. It was really good. It was way too short for me. Way too short. I think it was only like 200 something pages, like barely. Yeah, it was like 240, 242 pages. And it's like, what? Are you kidding? And I don't know if she's writing a sequel. That's the thing. It ended on kind of a cliffhanger. And as far as I've uh, looked up on Goodreads or anything, I haven't done that much research. But what for, from what I have looked up, I don't think she's writing another book. And I really, really hope she does. Because I need to know what happens next. Um, anyway, very, very much like this book. And the third and final book that I managed to read in the month of September was actually an old read. This was a reread. Uh, I've had this book for years. I've had this book for years, and I read the first two in the series, but then I stopped at the last one. So now I'm going to reread it all because I really, want, I really want to know how it ends. I just got too mad at the last book. So anyway, and that is Nightshade by Andrea Kremer. Um, I forgot how much I actually love this book. I was rereading it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's this part. And I was just remembering things as I read, but I, a lot of stuff was new to me because I guess I read it so long ago that I forgot some of these things. But it's so good and I love it and I cannot wait to continue on with the series again, but hopefully this time I finish it. Okay, now on to my to be read. So, bleh, to start off this, um, I am still reading the Shadowhunters Codex. I am almost done. I am on page... One, uh, not one, 225 of 263, I believe. So, almost done. I just have just a little bit more to get through. So, other than that, when I finish this, I am actually going to, I have to draw. I have to do my little draw of books that I'm going to read this month. Um, I'm going to do a draw, but I'm going to draw three, because that one is going to get done very, very soon. So here we go, and excuse this, this is also where I put my money where I, that I want to use to buy books. So, uh, also this month, on the same day actually, uh, October 6th, uh, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and The Sword of Summer by Rick Orton is coming out. Um, I'm actually getting it pre-ordered. I actually have it pre-ordered, so it is going to show up right to my house. So when those come, those are going to be for my to be reds because... You know I have been waiting. So, okay, there are still some in here that if I pick, I will not be reading because they are just way too long for what I need right now. Okay, 
ready. First book. Oh, there's two there. I can feel it. The first book that I will be reading in the month of October is... Never mind, that's way too long. That's like 700 pages, and I cannot do that right now. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, that's two. I can feel it. Stuck together. Yes! Oh my god! Okay, so the first book that I will be reading in the month of October is Wolfsbane by Andrea Kremer, and that is the second book to Nightshade, so I'm very happy with that one. That one is going to happen. That other one that I drew, drew can go back in. Okay, so the first book I'm going to be reading is Wolfsbane. The second book is going to be... It is going to be... Yay! Schizo by Nick Schaff. Excited for that one. That one's actually... I've been, I love the cover for that one. That one's going to be fun. Okay, and the last and final book. Please be blue. Is it blue? It's not blue. That I will be reading in the month of October. Ooh. <laughs> that was a weird noise. It is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. This one, I believe, is a sci-fi-esque. Okay, so let's, let's see this. Let's see. Right here. Okay, so we have uh, Wolfsbane by Andrea Kremer, a werewolf book. We have Schizo by Nick Schaff, which is a contemporary and then we have A Thousand Pieces of You, which is a sci-fi, which is by Claudia Gray. Awesome. I think that's going to be a really interesting month. Uh, no, I don't have any horror reads for October, for Halloween. I don't really like the horror genre of books. I never find them to be acting creepy or scary. Just predictable. But anyway, that's a whole different video. <laughs> um, yes, so that's really all I have to say. The next... My next book related video is gonna be a review of review of Eleanor and Park, I believe. I believe it's gonna be of Eleanor and Park. My art related video for Friday that's being moved is I don't know. I don't know what that's gonna be yet. But we will see when we get there. Um yes, so please comment what you thought in this video and please subscribe to my channel. I put a new video I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Depending on if I'm working or not, and depending on if my computer actually wants to work with me. Yay! Okay, so, <laughs> I am Ardania, and thank you so much for watching.